Good morning, G. We've arrived already. <laughs> uh, nobody welcomes us. Everybody should be busy with preparations for the Dia de los Muertos. This holiday of the dead is like our Halloween, isn't it? No, no, no. This is the holiday of the memories. During this day, we need to think about our dead relatives and make presents for them. My family believes that the souls of our ancestors come to the alive and have fun together. How? Oh, how interesting! And what happens when these ancestors come? And what do they do? And how? Better ask your grandma Camilla about it, but firstly, ring the bell to open the gate. Tap the bell. The bell lets the string. Find it. Look under the lease. Tap the lease. The bell lets the string. Find it. Look under the lease. Tap the lease. Here it is. Tap the... Nobody hears us. One more. One more. Good morning, Grandpa. Good morning, Grandma. Hello. Buenos dias, kids. You are so grown up. Buenos dias, Daddy Leo. Hola, Mama. Hola, Papa. And where are the others? They are preparing for the holiday since yesterday. Have a walk at the rancho if you want, and find your great-grandpa Rodrigo, Aunt Emilia and Camilla, Uncle Humberto, and call them for the breakfast. Okay, Grandpa Pedro, we will find them. Hurry up, G. Don't be afraid of our holiday decorations. Find all the family members and gather them together at the table. Tap the figures to see who is it. Tap the subjects to put them aside. Tap the relatives to say hello. Buenos dias. Great Grandpa Rodrigo, the breakfast is ready. Wrong. Look for more. This is a decoration for the holiday. Wrong. Buenos dias, Aunt Catalina. It's time for breakfast. Oh, who is it? Whoa, what an int- Wrong. Look for more. Hola, Aunt Emilia. We are waiting for you in the dining room. Wrong. Look for more. Hey there. Hola, Uncle Humberto. The breakfast, the daddy's relatives bring their family photos and food to the huge dry tree. Once a year, the dead tree turns into a bright ofrenda. Grandma Camila, tell us please about Dia de los Muertos. Great kids, I will tell you a lot of interesting and even mysterious things. Oh, it's wonderful! Great! The Day of the Dead is not a sad celebration at all. This is a celebration of happiness and At this day, we demonstrate love and respect to all the dead members of our family. We believe that death is not the end of the way, and all the dead continue to live in another special world of death. And today is the only day in a year when all the souls of our relatives can come back and live it again. And that's why it's no use to be sad. We need to be happy because of this long-awaited meeting and have fun together. How interesting! Help Grandma Camilla to decorate her friend'a. Firstly, put family photos on their places. Right, you are. Correct. Put the most favorite food of our dead relatives on the shelf on the photos. Look for favorite food and put it on the shelf on the photo. 
swap to see all food. you want to use. Choose the candles you want to use. Swipe. When you are ready, tap the button with choose what figure you would use to decorate your veranda. When you are ready, tap the button choose the candles you want to use. When you are ready, tap the screen to continue. When you are, when you are ready, tap the screen to continue. When you are ready, tap the screen to continue. And the most interesting and mysterious things happen here, near the dry tree. This tree died and now it grows at the world of the dead. But its trunk is still here, at the world of the alive. And therefore, our altar is the real door between these two worlds. Oh. <gasps> Don't be afraid, kids. That's not true. Mama Camilla told me when all the family members are playing their musical instruments near the tree, there is a music from the world of the dead heard from there. But I have never heard this music. Leonardo Alvarez, how dare you? Kids, don't listen to him. Better ask your aunts. They are older than your daddy, and they heard the music from the world of the dead a lot of times. Until the moment it suddenly disappeared. It happened the day when your daddy was out of the stroller and ate the only wedding photo of your great grandpa Rodrigo. <laughs> This is the last photo where your great-grandpa and great-grandma are together, far long before the wedding. Stop it! Who could help to put the photo of grand-grandpa at the center of the offeranda? The first one, the first one. Get G! G! Oh, ho, 